Nintendo Switch Pro. I know, we're all sick of hearing about it and talking about it, but I wouldn't be here with those words coming out of my gob if it wasn't for the fact that I feel pretty strongly that something really cool is about to happen. A Nintendo Switch Pro could actually be announced in the next seven to 10 days, and we could actually have it in our hands and playing it before the end of the year, maybe even in September. Yeah, yeah, I know. Do you remember like six-ish months ago when my friend RGT and I made a big long video and made everyone Super Switch believers because we pointed out all the evidence that was clearly suggesting a Switch Pro was on the way. There will be a new Nintendo Switch next year. Well, a lot of that was based on Bloomberg articles and Bloomberg has wrote another article. Now, Bloomberg has no business trying to clickbait us. They're not BuzzFeed, they're not my channel on a slow week. They're I'm not trying to trick you into something here. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at that today and I'm really excited because I do believe this thing is happening and I, I hope that egg won't be on my face, but here I am. I also wanna talk about a ton of other things happening in the gaming space right now, including E3, which is coming up really soon. I just have a ton of stuff I wanna get off my chest today. So if you like this video, like it, subscribe if you're new and let's talk about the Switch Pro first up. Nintendo Switch Pro is looking more and more like the real deal following various leaks, rumors, and reports. Bloomberg recently reported the new system would launch this fall, and we'd see an announcement prior to E3. Nintendo often releases a big Nintendo Direct before E3 officially kicks off, which is true. We usually get a Nintendo Direct right before E3. But here's where it gets interesting, because reports suggest the Switch Pro is real, and it will be revealed soon, and available for purchase by the end of the year, and that Nintendo is spooling up manufacturing for it this summer, so around July, they're supposed to go in production for this thing. Again, in that big video that uh, Sean and I made, we talked about the parts Nintendo was sourcing or the parts they were trying to get, patterns that were forming. So we already know kind of what might be in this thing. They also said Nintendo will announce the Switch Pro before E3 in mid-June in order to give third-party developers the freedom to announce their projects they're working on for the console. And that makes a lot of sense, but it's also kind of scary. But it makes a lot of sense. It's scary because... I assume freeing them up to talk about it means more like being able to show their games running on the new hardware rather than the old hardware. So just games that would be on both consoles, but now they're able to show it running at 60 FPS or 1080p, you know, things like that, rather than what I'm hoping doesn't happen, games that are exclusively for this new console and not the base one, even though it's supposed to exist in the same family, kind of like the new 3DS situation. I'm really hoping we don't go through that again with games like Xenoblade was only playable on the new 3DS, not the old 3DS, but it had the same library. Other than that, it's just a mess and it's confusing. <laughs> More like the 3D mess, am I right? <laughs> so hopefully this just means it gives them the opportunity to show off their games at full capabilities. Maybe even older games, like we could see Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey running at 60 FPS on this thing. The games that recently came out that didn't perform too well, like Hyrule Warriors, the frame rates were very average. You could show that off running at 60 FPS now. So if they get the announcement of the console out the way before we go into the E3, they could not only show off the console at E3, more information on it, but show the games and just focus purely on the games. Oh, and the day after that Bloomberg article, someone on Twitter found that Mexico uh, Amazon, Amazon Mexico, listed a new Nintendo Switch Pro on the site. Now, this could be someone messing around with us because it was the day after. This, the, I'm not taking, like, I never take these accidental listings as evidence or proof, even though it does happen. In fact, it even happened with Mexico Amazon last year when they announced, or they accidentally listed and essentially announced the Spyro Reignited trilogy. A listing for that popped up on Mexico's Amazon, even with a date. And then shortly after it was taken down, uh, it was announced. The date ended up being different, but only by about two weeks. And it was because that Activision delayed the release. So it has happened. The fact that it says new Nintendo Switch, I'm like, oh, the Pro, I just, I don't, it does, mm -hmm. it does make sense for Nintendo to use Pro because they've already used Pro for Pro Controller. So the word is already within the family, but it is also really close to the PlayStation Pro, but it also 
I mean, it's pretty easy marketing. I mean, everyone's used pro already. Everyone knows what pro means. The word new is in the title too. I think that's actually a really solid name for the console. They could just go with new Nintendo Switch, but adding the pro one, I don't think it's a bad idea, honestly. But anyway, this could be real, might very well be real because I believe the Bloomberg thing is real. Again, I'm really hoping it's real. Otherwise, I'm just gonna look dumb in a week. No one expects the Switch Pro to rival the power of the recently released PS5 and Xbox Series X, of course. And yeah, that's the thing. There is so much I can talk about here, but it does make a ton of sense for Nintendo to do this. While it's not obviously gonna compete with those new consoles, just like the A and Neo, which I just reviewed, doesn't compete with the new consoles, it still gives you that huge boost that is capable right now in the handheld market. And there's clearly a market for it because this thing sold millions of dollars worth on a Kickstarter and this is just some company that we don't really know much about at all let alone the fact that Steam there's a big rumor now I think they might have even suggested it that Steam is working on a handheld console as well because Nintendo what they've done is they've innovated and recreated or, or created or rejuvenized a market for this handheld gaming for this triple a title gaming on the go and now other companies are trying to bite it off are trying to get into the race I think that's great in a way because it's almost like a whole new generation of handheld gaming but there's no reason for nintendo to just sit by and allow this to happen and nintendo already has the player base they already have the insane library of games it just makes a lot of sense to beat these other companies to the punch before they get their switch pro imitations out and just release a switch pro themselves and make all the money for themselves so according to bloomberg <laughs> This thing, this Nintendo Switch Pro that we've all been talking about now for years, really ever since the Switch launch, we've been speculating it, theorizing about it, and breaking rumors and leaks for it. This thing is supposed to finally be revealed in the next week or so, and then we should know all about it by the end of E3, and we should even have it in our hands by the end of the year, which doesn't even feel real, to be honest. I've been talking about it so long that it doesn't feel real. Oh, speaking of E3, by the way, it's going to be an absolute... Thing. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming the whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to do it on Twitch or YouTube right here yet, but where is my, where is my Uber Eats? I'm so hungry. This is what I've always done for all E3s is I stream every event and I make a video for every event. And I really feel like this year is going to be crazy, especially Nintendo's. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. I'm really excited for all of that. Oh my God, I'm so I'm so burnt out on this. I'm not even gonna go on a huge rant about it right now, but Skyward Sword is coming out um, during this month at some point. I can't actually remember when, but I'm gonna play through the whole game on Twitch. At least that's my plan. I really wanted to get the Zelda Amiibo, but Scalp... Ugh. I went to GameStop that day and I honestly, I didn't even try. I didn't even try and get it because I knew what would happen. And of course it did. It just sold out instantly. I'm so over it. The, the, uh, anything these days, anything. The Zelda Joy-Cons, I couldn't even get my hands on those. Those were gone right away. And you know, a lot of people are buying it because they have to now. You have to buy things day one. Look at the PlayStation 5. But the reason you have to buy them day one now is because scalpers ruin everything. And I'm, I'm really... I'm just done. Like, I fine. I won't have it then. That's how I feel. I just won't have, I won't have things then. At least I can always buy a game. The games are never out of stock. You can always buy a game. But when it comes to accessories, toys, fun things, Pokemon cards, I've just given up. If I come across them, I'll get them. The, the fun has been completely sucked out of everything now because it's so hard to get your hands on anything. That said, <laughs> sorry being a negative Nancy, there was a big controversy around the Zelda Amiibo and the fact that Nintendo is once again re-releasing a game for full price without really changing anything. But the only addition in this one is now there's a fast travel from anywhere on the map to get back up to the sky. If you have the Amiibo and touch it on the thing, then you get to free fast travel. I get it, okay? It's a $60 game that hasn't changed anything. And the one thing is like a $30 DLC to fast travel. And people see that as that, you know, you, it's 30 extra dollars to get a new feature and nothing has changed and i i do get that argument and believe me i get the argument in general that nintendo keep re-releasing things for full price and not changing anything the only counter i have to that thing alone is we're all still buying it aren't we as long as we all keep buying it and giving them the money for this stuff in droves then nothing is going to change and i know i'm going out day one to do it 
because I'm a sucker. But I don't look at the Amiibo as $30 DLC and the only change. Couple of reasons. One, it's not really a change, really. There was already a ton of teleporting areas in the game that you could go and touch a bird statue and it'll teleport you, and they really weren't that far apart. It doesn't really save you all that much time having to fumble around and find your amiibo, select the amiibo, like scan setting in game, scan it and go up in the sky. Honestly, it probably takes you just as long as walking over to a bird statue. I wouldn't even say it's a quality of life. You're actually adding something. I have to get up off my chair in real life to fart. That's way worse. <laughs> it's $30 to do something that's worse than what's in the game. But also, you do get something, right? You do get a toy. You get a nice little figure. You are buying that toy. That toy isn't free, you know? You still have to buy it. And at least it does something, I guess, is my point. Because Amiibos have always really done nothing. And Nintendo, it seems like more often lately are trying to have these things work with their games somehow. So at least this actually does do something. It's not even that good of a something, but at least it does something. So I don't view it as a $30 quality of life add-on. I see it as you're buying a statue for $30, and if you want to waste your time, you can use it in the game to fast travel a little more cumbersome than just doing it in the game normally. And hey, it sold out immediately, so clearly it works. And Nintendo has no reason to change anything about the way they do things, because they just make money hand over fist for literally anything they do. Nintendo, Miyamoto could sneeze into a handkerchief and sell it for $60 and we would buy it. All right, whatever. Um, I haven't, I don't do these news videos as much as I used to, but I have a ton of fun when I do. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you very, very soon when I'm here screaming and hollering during a Nintendo Direct when they announce a Switch Pro. I don't think you will ever see me freak out more on camera than if that moment happens and we could be a week away. Very excited. Bye.